Hello, so I'm Darren Bell. I'm your instructor in this course and this video is to specifically help you submit your blog post correctly, right? To, so you can get it graded. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you kind of from the beginning what you what it's gonna look like to go in and, and to find uh, the location where you need to submit your blog post. And then I'm, I'm gonna tell you a couple things that uh, will be uh, that you're going to need to know so you don't do it incorrectly. All right. So when you go into, into here to get into your blog, you're going to have to log into your Google uh, password, your Gmail account, right? And you're, you're going to be able to go in and see the posts that you've created. Uh, if, you, if you haven't watched the other video, there's another video out there that shows you how to set up your post and get it started. This one is specifically to help you submit the link correctly and so I can look at it okay so what you're gonna to want to do when you see your post here just like this right don't copy the this URL above here if it starts with blogger.com I can't view it okay so there's no way I'm gonna be able to view it even if you go to your blog post here and submit that link I'm not gonna be able to view it it starts with blogger.com even if you go here to the preview and click on that still again blogger.com I'm not going to be able to look at it right so so what we need to do is we need to go all the way back uh, go back here to where you can see your your blog post right there and then go ahead and click on the uh, I the little I here on your blog post there that says view noticed it doesn't say blogger.com anymore Mine it's TVCC Econ 201 Big Decision, right? That's my blog post name. It's up there. I can now copy that URL and submit it. So I can click on it. I can uh, right click and do uh, copy. And then I'm going to copy that link into the blog post submission. Okay. Uh, for each one of these, for each of my blog posts, blog post two, I'm gonna do that for that blog post. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it here from this little eyeball right on this, the main blog uh, post page here and submit it. That's how you gotta do it. If it says blogger.com, I'm not gonna be able to view it. One other thing really quick, so I can view your post. So even if you submit it with that little eyeball that says view, if you have your uh, blog set to private, I won't be able to view it. So that, that raises some concerns for some, right? So they want to make sure that what they're doing on the internet is more private, and I totally understand that. So I'm willing to work with you on that. So you need to do a couple of things if you're going to set your uh, blog post to private. Uh, first, I would say you don't need to set it to private. You can keep it public. And this is where I'm, this is where I'm talking. So if you go down to settings here, okay, and you go to permissions right here on reader access, you can click on that and you can switch it to private or custom readers, all that stuff. Leave it, go ahead and leave it public is what I would suggest you do. Okay, if you set it to private, you're gonna have to give my TVCC Bell at uh, Hotmail or at Gmail, sorry, TVCC Bell at gmail.com special permissions to log in and view your post, right? If not, I won't be able to view it. I'm not gonna be able to give you a grade. So, but, so leave it public. But what you can do to make it more uh, secure so people can't just willy-nilly out on the internet search you and come find your blog post is this. Come up to the top here and it's gonna say privacy right here. See that? So it says visible to search engines. As long as you don't turn this on, right? If you, if you turn it like that, people can, can search you and come get your blog post and view your blog post. What I would do if you wanna have it more private, go ahead and turn this off just like that and then there will not be, people can't find your post unless they have the actual link, right? So like the link you're gonna send me, I can view it, right? If, if you don't send me a link, I'm not gonna be able to find your blog post. So do that to make it more private. If you have any concerns specific to privacy uh, and you wanna work around those with me, uh, send me an email, contact me and, and we can figure it out otherwise, but that's the settings that I prefer. So leave it public but definitely turn off your visible to search engines to, to give you a more privacy, uh, generally speaking. All right, so that's how you do it. You gotta submit it just like that or else I'm not gonna be able to see it. 
Don't email it to me. Don't put it in a, in a, uh, in a, a Word document or any of that other stuff. Uh, keep it on the blog post here and just send me the link. That's how it's uh, going to be submitted and that's how I'll grade it. All right, thank you and we'll see you later.